Fox 5 Money Watch. Welcome back at 830. Are you feeling financially overwhelmed? Are you torn between your child's college education, saving for your own retirement, and caring for aging parents? We may have some answers for you this morning. Mark Lloyd is here from the Lloyd Group to help sort out these financial stressors. Mark, good morning. Pleasure to see you. Nice to see you too, Mark. Okay, Mark, you have some financial options when it comes to college. You don't have a lot to care for aging parents or for your retirement. You pretty much got to fund those in the early years. Um, and then you have to play the catch-up game if you don't. Absolutely. And the thing about it is, is, is this is what's happening to a lot of Georgians right now. So I, a lot of our audience is, is they're feeling the pinch right now. Mm. 40s and 50-year-olds, okay, where they haven't maybe saved as much as they wanted to, so they're having to play that catch-up like you mentioned earlier. So what we have is we have saving for our retirement, also at the same time a balancing act of, of taking care of our children, but now a new issue popping up aging parents yes, yes and our heart says i gotta take care of mom and dad but our our finances sometimes can't follow the heart right and the problem with taking care of mom and dad is they may have lost a bundle of money in the bad economy the last 10 15 years. absolutely and you know a lot of seniors that generation were very good savers and mm. they have a nest egg to fall back mm. on but some do not and, th and again it's putting a little bit more stress on baby boomers okay let's talk about taking some of the the, the stress and and guilt off of ourselves um, there are a lot of options out there for funding a college education yeah there is it is getting tougher though mm -hmm. I mean, with the new rules with the Hope Scholarship and how to get Pell Grants and how to tuition get tuition increases. You know, tuition increases, everything's going up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that is, a, is paramount that you save for that. But I think first, we have to take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We have to fund a retirement plan. Like you mentioned earlier, you can't finance retirement. You can finance a car, you can finance your house, you can even finance college, but you can't finance your retirement plan. So you have to put yourself first. Again, your heart says not to, but you have to in this case. Okay, let's, let's talk to somebody out there who's just getting started. Uh, they're gonna try to play the catch-up game, but yeah. is there a good formula we can remember as to how much we should be saving in proportion to how much we're making? Absolutely. You know, the main thing thing is if you have a if you have the option to do a 401k plan you want to try to match everything mm -hmm. that your employer is putting into it okay. at least do the matching plan if you can afford to do a little bit more do more mm -hmm. main thing is set a budget mm. Right now, real inflation numbers with higher gas prices, higher food costs is about nine and a half percent. And not many Georgians right now have an extra nine and a half percent in the monthly budget to be able to pay for that. So it's very, very important that we watch where our dollars go. And we are very frugal at this point when we're fighting this. Okay. Also to save money, if your employer does not offer a 401k. You still need to do Roth IRAs, traditional IRAs, up to $6,000 can be contributed for someone 50 or over or 5,000 for under age 50. So you need to max out your contributions there. Okay. Can you only have one Roth IRA? Or? You can have a Roth IRA per person, You one for you, one for your spouse, but mm -hmm. also if you have a 401k, you, you may still be eligible to do a Roth on top of that. Oh, okay. To I check with that. your accountant. Okay. Um, and in terms of uh, financing options for aging parents, um, you, you have to go out and do a lot of research. First of all, you need to have this discussion where we sit down with mom and dad and say, Mom, we want to make sure everything's taken care of for you. We want to make sure things go smoothly for you. We want to make sure that your needs are met. Mm. This is a tough discussion to have. It may require having professional help. Maybe an elder law attorney be a part of that process. A third party that, was, that will not have a family tie there, you know. Mm. And, and we have an elder law attorney in our office. We see this all the time. And we have two ways of planning, whether it be like aging parents, like health care issues. That's the number one one concern they have. It may be we have to look at long-term care insurance or having some money set aside to fund long-term care. If that's not there, we have to look into elder law planning to try to do what we can to make sure mom and dad's needs are met. I haven't met a senior citizen yet in 20 plus years of doing this that says, I'm ready to go to a nursing home. Right. They want the opposite. They want to be able to stay in the confines of their own home. Mm -hmm. You can develop a plan to allow that to happen. Are there any tax breaks the family can take if they are caring for? Uh Absolutely. Elderly parents. Check, again, check with your accountant, but there are some tax breaks through the IRS code for caregiving. Uh, it's not much. Right. And there's also some tax breaks for, for uh, people to self-insure and to buy long-term care insurance if they are itemizing and following a long form. And also, there's the Georgia Long-Term Care Partnership Program. The state of Georgia loves for people to look at long-term care insurance so that they can save Medicaid for, for, the, peop for the needy. Right. So what they're doing is if you buy a long-term care policy, there may be some additional funds through the state 
state to exempt your savings from future spend down to be able to qualify for Medicaid. It's a great partnership that the state has put together with, major, with some major insurance companies. Wow, great information, Mark. Thanks as always. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having me.